Oftentimes, regret is a moot point. Is there really any use dwelling on something if you can't go back and make it different? Of certainly, a great deal of pain would be alleviated if the answer to that question was yes. Even someone with an impeccable external record is not immune to feelings of regret. Not even Paul McCartney's resume can shield one from it. Maka expresses his sadness in the unquestionable Beatles hit song When I'm 64. Give me your answer, fill in a form. Mine forevermore. Insert song. Many fans of the Beatles have come to adore this auditory look into the future. Even though McCartney penned this song when he was relatively young, which explains how weathered he believed he'd be at 64, it makes a really good point about eternal love. Looking back, though, McCartney has a few complaints about the song. If I were to write it now, I'd call it when I'm 94. I think a song about never leaving the house, crocheting all day, and wasting away would make a better title. McCartney claims that he is not alone in holding that view. I once ran into a lady who played piano at old people's homes, McCartney wrote in his book, The Lyrics, 1956 to the Present. She said, Mr. McCartney, I hope you don't mind, but I've had to update when I'm 64 to when I'm 84. Sometimes even when I'm 94. Those people think 64 is rather young. Despite a young McCartney's rather grim look of growing old, this song still manages to tug at the heartstrings. <laughs>